Southern had a chance to control their own fate if they won against Florida A&M Saturday. Instead, the Jags lost by seven. Our Jags insider Pat Timlin has more on what's next for Southern now that they're two and one in the SWAC. The Jag Nation Report, sponsored by Care South Medical and Dental. Everyone here on Saturday remembering that magical moment between the third and fourth quarters when the light show went on, the teams met at the hashes to talk smack, and that human jukebox blared behind them. That Southern was able to capture some energy there, score a touchdown to start the fourth, but unable to take a victory against FAMU, falling by seven points due to their inability to score in those final two minutes. For the head coach of the Rattlers, Willie Simmons, he described the moment as terrifying, saying he didn't know what was going to occur when those lights went down. As for Eric Dooley, the head coach of the Jaguars, he welcomes that energy and the environment that you're going to get here on the bluff. I, I wasn't worried because I knew you had two well-disciplined teams, so I wasn't worried what was going to happen. I think they seized the moment to be in the lights. You see that, and, and I think it, it made headline everywhere else. No one wasn't worried about fighting. We wasn't. The fight is within 60 minutes and it's legal. So we're not worried about going across to doing anything. We understand we got out of instruction. They know what to do in the heat of the moment. They just was feeling it, both teams, and, and they respected one another and didn't get any closer. And the fallout from Saturday's game puts FAMU in the driver's seat. If they're able to win out, they will host a SWAC championship game at Bragg Memorial Stadium there in Tallahassee. As for the Jags, they control their own destiny in the West. Four teams tied at two and one. The Jags have yet to play the other three, but if they win out, they will come out of the Western Division yet again and be in their second straight SWAC championship game. First, they need to take care of business against Lincoln, California, here homecoming on the bluff at AW Mumford Stadium. Reporting on Southern football for your Go Nation, I'm Pat Timlin.